Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my let's play of Cheap Trick Compilation, where I'm now picking my poison of these banana peel finalists. This one, I. I uh, that wasn't nice. Okay, Cheap Clip Trick by Tannen. I don't know if I want to do. We'll just go across the room. Mmm, well, no, I like Tannen, so let's see here. With apologies to the Ubersoft help desk. Hmm, welcome, Skip. What? I'm Blinky, your happy guide to the world of... Oh my god. Okay, bump into me when you're ready to go on. This looks pretty awful. Oh, that looks weird. Whatever. There's a big sword. Looks like you're smiling around. Need help. Just hit that orb if you need a hint. Oh, that looks like a problem. Um. All right. Uh, I don't see like. Um. 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 That's the only thing I can think of. No, huh? Good luck with the. Right. Um. Hmm. I don't see. Any... Okay, fine. I need a hint. Just hit the orb for more help. Oh, uh, really? Hold on. It says I could walk down there, but it didn't seem to work too well. Maybe I need to do it from the other room, perhaps? Huh. I do notice that this one has a slightly different triangle shape on it. Oh, is that an arrow? Well, that's curious. Behind the scenes! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, this one shouldn't be too hard. Well, that was interesting. It's just kind of a weird graphical thing. I guess that's cheap trick-ish. Whatever. I'm not too concerned about it. And then this is pretty simple. Oops, oops, oops. Good job, Skipper! Yeah, that's right. You deserved that. Um, I guess I leave the room now and come back. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well that was strange. Huh, a little like... Arrow tile. Blinky from Ubisoft Dot. Alright. The Golden Parabolas. Mission Impossible. Let's do this one. Just keep going this direction. The scroll contain... Scrolls contain explanation and solutions. Don't look at them until you're ready for a spoiler. You can't complete the room after stepping on them. Mm -mm, okay. Alright. What's happening here? So they're both hitting it to make it like open and close on the same turn? Oh wow, so that... Oh, wait a minute. So do like decoys act later than... Something that would make sense is that I... The, my clone would act first, right? And then... Monsters move and then the decoy hits? So the decoy hits last. That's really curious. Okay. Well, the obvious solution is I just kill my clone. And then do this, but... Maybe I'm missing something? Okay, that wasn't too hard. That's just an interesting mechanic, though. I don't know if that's a cheap trick or not. Uh, looks like I'm done. What was the... Oh, I don't... I'm gonna leave. 
But it said I couldn't leave. I'm assuming something happens. Good job on solving without reading the scrolls. If you did that, I didn't. For an extra challenge, kill the outlook before switching clones. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> Mission impossible. Hmm. Or is it? So, judging, yep. Okay, so there's going to be a problem here, real quick, in that I need to be in the central. No, I don't. I need to be out. So, how do I, how am I going to do this? Done. I have lots of options. This has an odd number of. This is impossible. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What the heck? I need to, like, start here if this is going to work. Because I need to be on the outside, so I'll. Um, I it's the fact that these two are spaced out once that makes this complicated. Because if you think about it, if I start on the inside, I can go da da da. Uh, and then I'm on the outside, and then it's just a matter of right. But if I start on the inside, then it's done, 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 done. So I still, I'm left on the inside. So that means I need to start on the inside in order to get this room without being stuck here. So that's the problem, which makes me think there's some other solution. In fact, this is even makes me yeah, or sorry, an odd number of bridges to it. Where everything else is there a secret? There it is. Hello. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting. What's this going to do? That's weird. There's a staircase under the back of this other staircase. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Then this becomes suddenly much easier, and now I get how this is supposed to be done. Um, except, oops. hard. Kind of a, I don't know. I guess there's only so much you can do cheap trick style with Drod, but <laughs> it was still kind of interesting that you had to mathematically it looked impossible right out the door, but and that kills everything and I win. Alright, right, right. Very cool. Moving on to Patchwork Quilt by Jut. Uh, Jut's stuff is tough. It looks cool though. Instant Solutions. Puzzle. Is there anything under these? I want to assume there might be. <laughs> it's a jet after all. Not what sure I was implying with that. Something awful. Something mean and inconsiderate. Da da da. Oh, I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Um, where did that come from? What? Oh God. Hold on. Um, I'm looking for a tile next to... Oh, I don't even have a sword. Crap. Where does this do? What does that do? Anything? That closes that. So, first things first is I beeline for the... Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, there's water here. That's an interesting little observation now, isn't it? There we go. So... Huh. Looks like this hot tile is what I have to kill it on. But now, what do I need to do to make that happen? Is this a pit? No, oh, that's a dirt floor. Dirt floor, dirt floor, dirt floor, hot tile. There is a staircase over here, which I don't think I can get to quite yet. Huh. Well, let's try this again. Water is an interesting part of this puzzle. This feels sort of like the right thing to do. 